Okay, here's the tutorial under Windows 7, but this tutorial is for other Windows also on how to install the sound card driver. For example, if you go here to the sound volume, you can see that the icon is not with a red X on it. And if I click on it, there is sound. Okay, but that sound is coming from speakers under the monitor and there is the headphones and there's no sound in this one okay so if I right click this sound icon and go to playback devices now here at playback we can see that is only one output and that output is through HDMI and more exactly the monitor is connected to the graphics card through the HDMI port and sound is coming out from the graphics card into the monitor and the speakers are under the monitor here okay so these speakers are the signal is coming from the graphics card so let's see how to make these headphones work also and that will need some more drivers because the headphones receive their signal from the sound card which is on the motherboard Okay, so those motherboard drivers are not installed. Let's see how to do that without knowing too many details about the make and model of the sound card or the motherboard. Let's go to drp.su. drp.su and press enter. So this is driver pack solution. Let's click on this one. Install all necessary drivers click that big button now let's run a program directly or we can save it if you want it's a 2 megabyte file I will run it and meanwhile we can at least minimize this browser now the small program is starting on this computer that program will detect the necessary hardware components and the software needed for that hardware driver pack solution checking PC configuration okay and it can work automatically but that will install many more more or less wanted programs so I will go here export mode okay and from this list I should choose something related to the audio card high definition audio okay so let's check that one AMD that's the processor high definition audio so that should be the graphics card the AMD graphics card and through the HDMI port it has audio also that is working on this computer that's something else so let's leave only this one via high definition audio and uncheck everything else okay let's see here at software I don't need anything right now so I will uncheck all of them okay so let's go back here to drivers and with only via high definition audio selected I will click install automatically it's creating a restore point also just in case something goes wrong drivers have been installed okay let's click finish we can close this window now let's go to the volume icon here right click on it and playback devices and voila here's the result headphones speaker and the hdmi of the monitor the speakers which are here are connected to the hdmi port of this monitor those were working fine yeah that's from the motherboard the motherboard has two outputs one in the front and one in the back so let's see which one is which if i simply click this then we can see some movement here and down here the green line starts appearing but there is no sound in the headphones so this one is default and that has to be then the front output of the motherboard so let's click on this one, right click on it and set as default device. Now this one is the default one, there's the check mark. Okay, and if I 
open the volume now. Now I can hear the sound. So this is the rear output of the motherboard and this is the front output of the motherboard. And since the headphones is connected to this one, this one is working so I can disable this one. Right click on it and disable. Show disabled devices is not selected, thus it's not shown. If I select it, then it's shown. If I deselect it, it's not shown. Okay, and if I set this one as default device and click on this icon, then I can hear the sound coming from these small speakers. Okay, if I click on the other one and click on this and I can hear the sound from the headphones. Okay, so that's how to install the audio drivers for your motherboard or your sound card without knowing the exact make and model. And this was done under Windows 7. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.